It's 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April 10th. I put up a post on my blog about the sale of the two bulls. Uh, I got a pretty good price, I think. Um, certainly wasn't my wildest dreams, but a very reasonable price for those two bulls. They were not as big as I thought they would be. And, um, of course, their condition and everything else and their age. Um, I look back on their age. They were... Uh, the older one was like one month, no, one year, nine months old. I think that's right. Yeah, and the younger one was like one month and one year and nine, seven months old. So they just, you know, probably wasn't the best use of my time and efforts um, trying to get my own bull. But I certainly learned a lot. And, um, you know, the one thing is the experience. That's what I need more than anything else is the experience right now. Anyway, it's about 55 degrees there's a cold wind blowing from the north. It's still raining a little bit. We got an additional inch and a quarter of rain, bringing it up to two and a quarter inches so far since the rainstorm on Tuesday, since the eclipse. Um, you'll notice I'm standing here at the line over here. You can see it's pretty muddy, um, which is not ideal. Um, I don't want the cows to turn it into a mud bowl because the grass takes a long time to come back. But um, if they're gonna do it, they might as well do it in a spot rather than across the entire field. So hopefully this spot of ground will recover quickly. Um, we'll see when the sheep come down here what it looks like, and then uh, six weeks from now when the, when the cows come down again. So maybe longer, maybe this is part of the field that all that rest for the summer, I'm not sure. Rami is cold and shivering, I'm surprised. Um, I guess, I'll show you Rami. I guess he, uh, his, uh, the wax, the lanolin isn't working or whatever. So, but the field is wet and it is cold. It's a good time for the sheep to bunch up together and keep each other warm. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, sold the bulls. I put a post on my blog, lazycowfarms.com, I think. I don't even know. Uh, and uh, I try to keep a list of the cows there uh, updated. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's 90% of the way there. And uh, so guys, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.